And the, instru go. the instructions that they give you with parafilm don't work. They try to tell you to lay it over and cut it. Don't do that. That's it's not really suitable for for hard masking. It's good for soft masking and it's good for things like figures where you might want to use uh, liquid film. But here you can act you can use this and it doesn't stick that bad. You have to stretch it to activate it. And then you can fold it up however you want or lay it over. I've done it where you got a thruster inside a piece like on a Valkyrie or something like that. You paint the thruster up first, wrap it in the parafilm, put it in, and then you can take it out of there later on. So the idea here is you're going to lay it in and then work it up into the uh, into this into the cracks, right? And this would be useful if you if you're trying to airbrush two separate things in different colors and different shades. Like if you're doing a face, paint the face first, mask it off. I see these tools. I should have brought some other ones, but I was rushed. The idea here is you, you're working it into this into the gaps. I'll pass a couple things out. While I'm at it. These were done, I don't know, last year, I think. <laughs> and you can peel it off the one if you want. I'll send it around. You see, it's just a thin area. so well here. So you have to fold it? Do you? Well, no, I mean you can you can do a thin layer, but what I'm trying to do here is work it like right up to it. Right up to the edge? Right up to the edge and kind of fill in the gap a little bit. Or fill in the, get it, work it under there. It sticks to itself really well, which is a good thing sticks to other things fair, which is also a good thing. So if you're going to try to wrap the piece up before you work with it, and then you can paint it and just peel it off later on. And it's not like using masking tape or something where you have an adhesive that can cause a problem. Or the uh, some of those sculpt, some of the gels or some of the liquids where you may never get it out of any little crevices or it peels up paint when it comes out. Or yeah, it reacts with the paint if you're using flats. Right. And you can't get it off. Yeah. Any of these things work better with gloss though. So you, get, you can do that kind of thing if you do um, so you're going to paint the eye, then want to paint the armor. Like if you got a guy with a helm or something like that, you can have a little, little piece of it like this, just to make a little, kind of a little wad of it. Work it in. Stick to itself, correct? Yeah, it sticks to so itself. So, like if you were taking this piece around the, the front of that uh, X wing there, mm -hmm. take it all the way around, it should give you a good line. It, it'll, it can give you a line, it, it, but it doesn't necessarily stick well enough on a flat area like that. But again, you can work it in here, and it's probably too thick in, in that, in that eye socket. If you were trying to do it over a a piece like this. Well, you can do that. 
but it's not going to suck down all that well. It's not like masking tape. Where it's good is on armor and that sort of thing where you might want to go over some fairly severe details but have something you can actually suck down into. And it does tack down and you can come by with a, a softer tool and work it into place. And you can go over grills or anything like that. What kind of tool are you using? This is a silicone. Rubber tip. Mm -hmm. Almost looks like an eraser. Yeah, it's a sculpting tool. Great for you working with epoxy putties and such. Uh, I see most clays I'm familiar with would stick to something like that. It's silicone. So even if epoxy dries on it, Right off. That's right. Interesting. So if you get camouflage that's going right into the cockpit area, you can just suck it down right in there. So it does work like this. You know, you're going to have to be careful because it doesn't stick as well as this masking tape. But if you had a kind of a no German zigzag sort of thing where it's coming across this whole area with, with all this detail, you can do that. So like, it's great for armor. Where those edges may not be all that hard to start with. sucked up on the one side, but you can pass it around. You can see it'll, it'll lift up. You have to be careful. Now that stuff can sit on there forever. And you know, years later you can pull it back up. But on that stuff you can see as you pull it